Hey everybody and welcome to Esports Wave. We're going to go pretty heavy on the Overwatch League today, so let's take a look at how Stage 2 ended. First up, let's take a look at the conclusion. The New York Excelsior came back from two lost rounds against Philadelphia and reverse swept them for the victory. Before this, Philly managed to knock out London, winners of the previous stage who had to beat New York for that victory. Now congratulations all around for this stage's amazing finish. Now there's a couple things to note here. As the Overwatch League began, a team like Philadelphia, a lot of analysts, including myself, we felt like they were going to be an incredible team to reckon with. There was a lot of problems going into Overwatch League Season 1. They had uh, problems with the warm-up and getting everyone together in the preseason. It's just all kind of bad news leading up to the initial match where they went up against Houston and then showed off how amazing they can be. The problem was they weren't really able to hold it together for Season 1, so they ended at rank 7. It's kind of low on the list, of course beating out Shanghai, but that's pretty much what everyone did. But in the short span of time, as a team, they've moved up from the 7th overall rank to the 4th. That's an incredible amount of distance maneuvered in just one stage. After all their wins and losses were calculated, they are considered to be third place in this stage too, but, I mean, they did manage to beat out the second place team. Now I'm expecting a lot of them as a team going forward, it's going to be great to watch. I mean, the meta is going to be shifting soon, they hopefully will be adding the new character into competitive play. And in stage 3, we're going to be seeing a lot of new names on a lot of new teams. It's going to be this massive talent shift, we'll have to see how everyone adapts to the meta and what changes. That being said, New York were the winners here, but there was a very distinct lack of Pine freshness for the final round. Pine's ability as a DPS player has been winning him fans on an individual basis. A lot of people like New York, but it's Pine's personality that draws a lot of viewers in. For a lot of us, watching his matches was similar to just watching a montage reel of all the best McCree plays humanly possible. But according to his Discord, it appears that through his time in the Overwatch League, it appears that he's developed a panic disorder. Uh, it's been pretty rough, I guess, closer they get to whether or not they were going to win at all. The pressure must have been pretty immense. But there is good news, he has talked about how he's looking forward to play in the next stage. Hopefully the New York team's support staff has the capacity to help Pine through this. Uh, despite my vested interest in Philly, I've always enjoyed watching New York play simply for the rounds that Pine takes part in. I hope to see him back, and not just ready for action, but feeling good about all these incredible things he's done so far. And then finally, as a fun and not all expected side note to this, it appears that Sabiolbi is going to be one of the first esports players ever to throw out an opening pitch at a Major League Baseball game. This will be happening on April 2nd at Citi Field in an almost poetic fashion. He'll be throwing the opening pitch for a game between New York and Philadelphia. It couldn't have been more perfect. It appears that they're out there though for a meet and greet. The players will be signing flags and handing them out to fans, so it should be pretty interesting. A lot of the support staff, the coaches, as well as most of the main players on New York will all be in attendance. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you're having a good holiday weekend. That's about it for the esports news I found most interesting these past couple weeks. If you liked what you saw here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, you know, the usual. And until next time.